Disclaimer, some clips and photos used in this video are not owned by me and were just used to add either comedic effect or to just generally save time. Please do not copyright claim this video. Yo, school is over? Whoa! Wait, wait we gotta stay inside due to the pandemic? You just described paradise. Hello everyone, uh, so I'm officially going to 8th grade and a few days ago my teacher assigned me a project for the end of the year. About me, yes, hello. Talking to all you future 7th graders and giving you guys advice and what to expect. Now, this sounds like a fun video idea and she left animating as an option which is uh, very convenient. So the first thing I'd like to address is in 7th grade is going to be uh, uh, some, some kids who, uh, you know, curse. Excuse me? Okay, a lot of kids who curse. So please not let them influence you because I don't want to go to the hallways just walking and doing my own business and just hearing the F-bomb in my ears. Another thing I'd like to mention is if you have struggled in a certain class, ask questions. Do not be stubborn and uh, embarrassed and ask the teacher when you're having questions because... <laughs> And what else are they good for? G guys, g guys, I need it! The first thing I'd like to advise you guys on is never procrastinate. You do not want to be awake super late at night because, you, who knows, maybe you have a final exam tomorrow, I don't know. This was such a pain for me in seventh grade because I don't, I don't know, I just, I just woke up and I felt terrible. I just felt really sleepy. I want to go back to bed. Uh, I survived from doing this, surprisingly. Uh, <laughs> Because I'm just that cool. You're only not. Did you do it? Yes. What did it cost? My sleep schedule. The fourth piece of advice is to always keep track of your class schedule. Are you going to the right room number? Are you going to the right order that your class schedule is telling you to go to? Do you even have your class schedule? Did you lose it? This all happened to me the first week of school, and there I say, <sighs> it wasn't fun. Number five, never get into fights. You don't want to go to the principal's office with an angry mom and your bloody nose. Number six, make your backpack as light as possible. You don't want to make it super heavy because always just pack the essentials only and ask your teachers if you can leave some materials in the classroom for you to use the next day so you have less weight on your back. This was such a huge problem for me. I had to use this backpack and worked and looked like luggage, like the kind that you would bring to an airport. It was a pain trying to get that up the stairs while dragging that, so I didn't. I ended up carrying it. I called it my workout. Number seven, always pay attention in class. If you do's off for just one second, you'll be like, huh? Number eight, make sure you always have a spare pencil in case the one you're using breaks or you lost it. Number nine, make a lot of non-toxic positive friends. They'll make your seventh grade middle school experience fun. Number 10, make sure to get on all your teacher's good sides. You do not want to get on your bad side. Anyways, that's all the advice I have. I don't want to get this video too long or else I wouldn't finish it in time for submission because, uh, you know, I want to get an A. So, uh, bye!